and welcome to the Creatively Geeky Show. I'm your host for the evening, Eugene Stevens. Uh, tonight, I'm joined by lots of Canadians. We've got Chris and Ray and Sean and Jen. How are y'all doing? What's up? Did, did you just <laughs> put Jen in with the Canadians? No, there was a comma. Oh, oh right. I I believe it was I'm Canadian now. She's she's an honor. <laughs> hey, if you want to claim it, I'm not gonna argue it. Okay. <laughs> um. So. Uh, Isn't it one time? Okay, and that makes me Canadian. <laughs> there you go. Uh. So uh, how's everyone been? It's it's been a month since we've done an episode. Where did um, that month go? I does not. That does It does. Yeah. It. It yeah. seemed to have flown by, yeah. uh, which is odd because it seems like the days are just dragging <laughs> at this point. So, um, like I tell people, they'll come in and ask me something or another at my work. And I'm just like, I don't know. It's been like one long month since like March. It's just, mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, so uh, let's go ahead and kick off and, and talk about our updates from last time. Um, if anyone doesn't necessarily want to go first, I'll start with Ray because he's, num- he's the first one on my list. <laughs> Um, Ray, you had uh, starting starting a painting or um, starting a course. <laughs> so been so, interesting up on the ceiling, Ray. Go ahead, talk what you did, babe. Go ahead. I did sweet fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> sweet fuck all. Uh, yeah, I I researched. Um, you did a lot of research. A lot of research yes. on which uh, which lesson I wanted to go with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I still haven't made a decision because there's there's really good positives for both mm-hmm. and i don't want to pay a lot of money for both okay so, if i was gonna say if you're having to pay some money for it then yeah. i completely and totally understand that like yeah. i'll get to that here in a second so yeah so um, <clears throat> one one is less money but it's only for me the mm-hmm. other one's more money but everybody in the house could get use out of it so okay. it's, it's kind of like yeah there's pros and cons to both so mm-hmm. Uh yeah, I'm I'm still looking into that one. I'll I'll because the one is not courses, it's just like a big long TED talk. It's like aspirational. It's yeah. So ma- master class is yeah. one that I've been considering, and it is it is basically like you said, a TED talk from famous people that have made it in those fields. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they do these long discussions and the, like there's workshops and stuff to do as well, but it's not actually a class. It's, yeah. Where so- are the master classes like you pay per class or do you pay a subscription for all of them? So you can do both. You can pay up for one class, which is like a hundred bucks US and you get that one class. But if you pay, or no, I think it's like 80 US or something like that. But if you pay a hundred for the year, you get access to all of them for that so year. So why wouldn't you just do that? So, well, hey. that's what they've, that's why they, but as soon as you, as soon as you're done Your year paying, yeah then you don't have access to anything anymore. So if you wanted to go back and re-listen to anything, then you can't. You, you yeah. can't. Where if you buy the class, then that is your class for... Oh, for, so it's for, like streaming versus mm-hmm. down... Okay. Yeah. 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 So there's pros and cons to those. And then the other... I'm looking at a guitar super systems is what it's called. And it's... Uh, um, Music is Win is the, uh, is the YouTube channel. Uh, and he has his guitar system uh, for everybody. To, uh, I think it comes to like ten dollars a month. But again, it's okay. Do I spend the ten dollars a month or do I go the other way? And so I'm still trying to decide on that. Well, As hundred dollars a year. I mean, technically that's less than ten dollars a month for the master class. So yeah, yeah. But so, yeah. But the, yeah. there's no like real inst- like your guitar one's actually like instructional. It's or- instructional. Yeah. It actually. Talks about the theory, yeah. mm-hmm. talks about different scales and practicing and all that other stuff. Yeah, that's why. Where the other one I could learn from Tom. The uh, guitarist for Rage Against Machine. Rage Against Machine, Machine. He does his whole thing and he's like, so it, they're both really interesting. So this is a more advanced class, I take it, because you already kind of know guitar some? It, it's like from beginner on. Um, oh, okay. But like, it'd be nice to actually go through some lessons and i never did take any lessons well i i started the fender classes and they're like really basic and i got not very far with them before i got busy but 
my um, friend's husband saw that I had a guitar and was like, oh, it's so easy. You just need to learn a few chords and blah, 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 blah. And he was trying to show me. And I was like, I am forgetting everything you tell me as soon as I do it because <laughs> this is way too fast for me. This is not how I learn. Yeah, yeah. But I would love to find a course. If you find one you like, let me know. Okay, I'll let you know. Um, I Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll do a little bit more research. And... More research. <laughs> more research. No pressure. Uh, more research honestly the there is a youtube channel for beginners uh i think it's justin guitar i think i told you about oh, that. Yeah, you mentioned this last time justin guitar mm, is that it no uh anyway. yes justin guitar so uh, he's an australian i believe and anyway he has a whole youtube channel dedicated to try and make a uh, simple guitar uh, songs so that you actually enjoy playing uh, while you're learning to, to play. So that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I've been down the deep, dark wall, well of YouTube channels and maybe distracted by some TED Talks. Yeah, you made me watch two <laughs> TED Talks last night. <laughs> you, well, look, <laughs> you look so enthusiastic about that. He was supposed to be sleeping because he had to get up at 4.30 in the morning. It's 10.30 at night. He's like, just one more. This one's only 15 minutes long. I mean, you need to go to bed. <laughs> this kid waits. <laughs> he needed to show me. I had to because one was about being a procrastinator. Which I am. Mm -hmm. Heavily. <laughs> Which you were doing by watching that. <laughs> Procrastinating I sleep. I had to feed the monkey. <laughs> Which makes sense if you watch the procrastinator TED Talk. The procrastinating monkey. Because <laughs> I didn't have a panic monster at the time. And <sighs> and uh, and then the other one was about uh, game theory, where if you want to learn something, um, he describes kind of a, a whole game thing where uh, he compares it to Mario and learning Mario when you were a kid. And it was it was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it was uh, the the Mario effect is what he, he called it. Mm -hmm. So that's a different TED talk, um, both inspiring in good ways. Yeah, good deal. <laughs> and I haven't touched the fucking painting. No, the painting. Is still <laughs> I was gonna ask. It's still there. He bought a spotlight for it the other day. Oh, which I'm so disappointed it didn't work. <gasps> it didn't work. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Oh mm. well, now we have a spotlight for no reason. Spotlight for Halloween. Oh, right. For Batman. <laughs> Halloween. Is, like... is it like super hot? Does it get super hot? Or... Oh, so the problem okay. is I need a single point uh -huh. light source for for projecting this... yeah. uh, onto this canvas. Mm -hmm. And it's it's multiple LEDs. And I thought that maybe I could get away with it if the light was far enough away. Nope. Mm. Just blurs the image. I'm like, nope, that didn't work. <laughs> and it... Oops. The reason I was asking if it was LED or, or, or whatnot, because then you you could cut out a bat signal and put on it, and then you would have <laughs> Oh, you know what? We probably should for Quinn's room. Yeah, he might like that. He might. That would He's be awesome. a big Batman fan, though, so I don't know. Well, there's other... That's true. There's other ones. Green we'll put, we'll put the, uh, the Triforce up on the there ceiling. There you go. He'd like There that. you go. <laughs> yeah. Is it, um, can you just put a piece of cardboard over top of it, since it's LED and it won't heat up with a pin hole in it? Pretty that much. will give you the single point. But then it's not bright enough. Okay, a little larger than a pin. <laughs> could you, could but you, okay, going the, along with what Sean's saying, could you could I've been you make to, a hole small enough to just do one LED cover or? Well, it, but then it's not bright enough. And okay. you quite a bit of light away. So, uh, this I've, canvas is gigantic. It's, it's a five huge. foot by four foot. So the only thing that's working right now, it, I do have an LED light that will work, but it's a flashlight and it's not easily mountable or anything like that. So anyway, yeah. And I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in and go next here. Yeah. Sorry. Um, that took a long time. No, it's all no, dude. It's it's all good. The whole point of this of this part Jeez. of the show is to talk about you know updating stuff. So. Just you. It's, it's just about you, Me. Ray. Yeah, just <laughs> just right. We'll start the podcast. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of learning something, uh, I too had down. That's what I was going to work on, and I I had I was going to learn this program called Eagle. So, I I'm really kind of surprised, but I sat down and did it. So it was not this past weekend, but weekend before last. Um, 
I was mostly caught up on stuff and I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to sit down and learn this program. So over the course of the week of the long weekend, um, I finished the course. There were times that I had to stop myself and go, no, <laughs> you're almost done. Finish the damn course before you start working on something. Cause it was already, it was all, you know, the gears were already turning. Okay. Now that I know how to do this, I can apply it to this. And, mm-hmm. um, so I, I, uh, taught myself the course and, uh, I actually learned quite a bit of it. Um, there are some things that I'm finding Well, I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself. So I finished the course and, um, what my plan was, um, I had bought several years ago when I was doing my, um, uh, my original proton pack and the proton pack that I built for Laney and the one that the two that I did for my boys, um, I had bought just like uh, it, most of it was based off a single chip that had like all the audio and stuff on it. And then it was like, all right, well, let me figure out the, the, the lights and everything. So what I had done is I had found these really cheap. They were like $7 and it's just a single layer board. And uh, it had like two chips on it, a resistor, so on and so forth. And it would, it was a led sequence that would just, it was 10 leds that just went through a sequence and then started over again. And from that, I was able to kind of cobble together the proton packs. Well, whenever I um, ripped apart the the one for the boys, whenever I bought them the new ones, I saved the electronics out of it. And I was like, I think I can repurpose this for a thing that's in the Ghostbusters community called the Belt Gizmo. And so that's kind of what I was really shooting for. And so lo and behold, I w- managed to design and manufacture. Mm-hmm. Those of you who are not watching the video version, um, you can check it out on my Instagram account. I designed a circuit board and I Nerd. was extremely happy about it. <laughs> um, what did you say? Nerd. Nerd. Yes. Um <laughs> And so once I got it in, I got to looking at it, and I was kind of test fitting some stuff on there. And unfortunately, uh, I am going to have to go back and make some changes, but this was also a Mark One. But the thing actually works. Like, I'm so <laughs> excited about this. It's literally just – so on the screen, it's literally just 10 LEDs in a line, and they just go from one end to the other and then start back over. And – I'm excited about this because it's opened up some new possibilities. I've already been thinking about some other things I can do with this. Um, one of the things I'd eventually like to do is once again, going back to um, building proton packs, um, especially the wand. There's so much electronics that are, that's in the wand and it's, there's all these little wires that I've had to solder together or I've just kind of like had to make bridges and everything else. And now I'm like, I can make boards and I'm actually trying to figure out, if it'd be possible for me to like mount almost everything to boards and then have them almost like connect together so that I would have this more open area. Um, one of the things that I just recently got, uh, it was a very late father's day gift. Um, Hasbro has released a Spangler, um, neutrino wand from the new movie coming out next year and one of the things that it does is it's got a lever and you push it back and it causes the tip of the wand to eject like it did in the movie. And that's a very hard thing to do because you've got all this electronics, like so jam packed inside. Cause I mean, yeah, you could make it larger and give yourself more room, but then it's not accurate. Um, so trying to get all of this electronics and, you know, this mechanical moving part and stuff in this small space, um, this might actually give me the room to do it. And that's like, I'm super excited about that. So, um, and then I've thought about some other projects that I want to start doing and, and working on. And, um, the main thing was the, um, it's not that cost prohibitive, like for the five boards, I think it cost me maybe six or $7 and the rest of it was shipping. So it was like maybe $15 shipping. Um, so I've already started thinking, I'm like, well, the next time I do, I, uh, and I do an order. I'm going to go ahead and figure out at least two boards. I may figure out a third, um, so I can have them all shipped at once and, you know, it'll end up, you know, cost me less money in the, in the long run. So, um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this. I cannot wait to go ahead and get these next couple of boards designed and get them off. Cause that was the other thing is it only took about a week maximum for them to be created and shipped to me. So, uh, That's yeah, like, because it, it, it was one of those other things. I was like, man, it, it only took a couple of days for them to actually uh, print the boards. But then it was like, okay, 
how long is this going to take? And sure enough, it, it only took, you know, maybe three or four days. So I'm like, this is, this is fantastic. I, <laughs> I can actually design stuff. And, uh, so I'm super, as you can tell, I'm, I'm super excited about it. And, um, so yeah, I actually accomplished the thing that I set out to do. Um, it was kind of one of those weird things. I was like, do I want to work on something physical that I can only do while I'm at home? Or do I want to just do what I said I was going to do and stop everything I'm doing and be like, no, I paid for this course. I'm I'm going to take this course um, instead of, you know, watching TV or whatever. So, I mean, I did get some TV, you know, <laughs> I did watch some things, but uh, uh, not as much as not as much as I would have had I not <laughs> been doing this course. So, um, incidentally, let me just can kind of put a plug in for it uh the course i purchased was from udemy uh u-d-e-m-y uh the instructor i had um was indian and uh his speech was perfectly fine um but it was definitely in retrospect going back through this you can definitely tell this was more of a beginner's course because i've already run into some things like i said for example one of the one of the parts that i i actually had to kind of do a design for is it's kind of hard to see here, but I'm having to use some wires to hook up one of these little parts because whenever I design, I followed his instructions on designing this part. Well, the holes that it, it drills into the board were not large enough to actually mount this part. And I'm like, okay, how do I change that? So it was one of those things, go to YouTube or Google and figure it out. And it's like, he didn't cover that. You know, it, it was a very brief thing in the course. So, uh, overall, I only paid like $10 for the course. So for that amount of money, I'm extremely happy with what it was. Apparently it was originally on, it was originally supposed to be like close to a hundred. I don't know how happy I would have been for a hundred dollars and been like, eh, you kind of glossed over some stuff, dude. Um, but needless to say, like it, you know, e even if I had paid 80 or $90, I, I now have a new skill set that I can start to, to grow on and, and, and do some cool stuff with. So I'm, I'm excited. So. Um, all right, who was next on the list here? Uh, yes, Face ID. Yes. Uh, Chris, you had uh, paint the dresser and work on uh, sunroom uh, curtains. Right. <laughs> How are those sunroom curtains coming along? How's your painting? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're supposed to be supportive here. Oh, uh, no. So. <laughs> then she does of her curtains. That's very true. <laughs> the curtains got forgotten about, to be truthfully, with gotcha. you. With you. Totally forgot about that. Probably um, not going to come until next year. Well, I would like to get them in for winter just because that is not like a legit insulated space. We'll see. Whatever. Anyway, someday there'll be curtains there. Um, with Logan's dresser, I nobody around sells gold hardware so i had to order it from amazon so it's going to be here by friday okay she specifically wanted wants gold. gold ones so she's got this like boho thing not going. real gold uh, <laughs> oh yeah because <laughs> that's got way up there in price <laughs> but uh so she's got this boho thing going on in her room where everything is uh like dusty rose pink and white and gold mm -hmm. so she wants gold so I'll do that as soon as they come in. That's getting done. But that's not here until Friday. And then, yeah, the curtains, I've just been forgot and procrastinating about them, to be honest with you. I just don't know where to start or how I even want. I, the thing is, I just don't even know how I want it to look. And I need to figure that out because, I mean, I have an idea, but I don't know if that's, like, a possible thing. Well, the... We got to figure out the cushions for the thing as well. Well, I have, and I There's have some, yeah, yeah, and I have some fabric set aside, like uh, favorited on Spoonflower that yeah. I have to show you. Oh, that's not. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll work whatever I want then. And <laughs> <laughs> so it takes us a while to agree on stuff. If you haven't figured that out, <laughs> this is what happens when you marry when you have two creatives in a relationship. They insist on having equal say on design stuff of the house. How did you guys ever name your children? Uh, he named Logan. I named Quinn. A lot of well, there And a lot of freaking vetoes. Yes, lots of. Say, as hard as it is to disagree on something. Well, we well, would have we would have had a Zephyr, and that was just more because I was freaking everybody out. And Willow. I liked Willow. Willow's not bad. Willow's cute. 
Yeah, but I think it was a little for a boy. No, no, no. It was for no, girls. it was a for girls. Okay. I was coming up with some like really masculine Irish names for girls, and he wasn't going for that. So, Lachlan was the one that I was okay with. No, you liked Log- Lachlan for Quinn. That's what it was. Anyway, it anyways, matter. it doesn't matter. That's he came up. Sh- yeah, that's a whole other <laughs> children. Because <laughs> I know Sean had some good Star Trek names that uh, Deb was like, no. <laughs> I'm impressed with the ones you got. So <laughs> I won. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you did. All that matters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, hopefully they get the first one in. She yep. say no to the other ones. Hey, I know someone who named his kids Logan and Phoenix, and he swears it wasn't on purpose for the X Men, but <laughs> right. we, we know the truth. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So eventually curtains, and then as soon as those uh, the hardware shows up, I'm going to be painting Logan's dresser. Good deal. Thanks. Yeah. Um, do you ever do um, Pinterest? Yes, heavily. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just gonna. I was just gonna say because you were saying trying to figure out ideas for the curtains, and I was like, I'm not a big Pinterest guy. Uh, but I, like, if you need like lots of different ideas on something, it's like, yeah, it's kind of the place to go. Oh, it is. It absolutely is. It's like a board of like everything. It's for me. I'm such a visual person that trying to search through things through like a Google search. It's impossible. I have to like, it's so, it's the problem that I have with Pinterest though is a lot of times I'll be like, Oh, I really like that. Where can I buy it? It's not available. Yeah. That's my problem. Yeah. Sometimes that's not all the time. The majority of stuff that I find is like, Nope, it's not available anymore. I'm like, well then Pinterest isn't set up for stuff that you like. Yeah. Yeah. No, I find the same thing happens to me, Ray. It's like, Oh, that's really cool. Where can I find that? Oh, you have to cool. make it. Yeah. That was yeah. available in like 2005. Great. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks for that, guys. There's, there is one thing I'm trying to find a pattern for that I can't find it. And so that's been frustrating. But other than that, Pinterest is great yeah. for creating mood boards. and A lot of Etsy stuff is working out. We find a lot of stuff on Etsy. Yeah, that but we like, Pinterest but, and yeah. Etsy, I think, like have something going yeah. on together because a lot of stuff on Pinterest you find on Etsy. Yeah. Um, Jennifer, you said you were going to look at an exercise routine. Um, I have exercised some. I don't think I would call it a routine because I haven't been doing it consistently like I used to, like three mm-hmm. times a week. But I have exercised a few times. I did yoga today. So. Yay. Oh, good deal. Yay. Yeah, it's not where I want it to be, though. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's sporadic, and I can't seem to get a schedule again. So... <laughs> It helps you, to have people to like meet with and mm-hmm. pressure you. Mm-hmm. And I don't have that anymore because nobody wants to go to the gym and I don't blame them because I'm, I don't either. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So you're one of those people, like I, I've never been that type of person that would like exercise with other people. Mm-hmm. Um, I always kind of like just put it on myself. Uh, but I, I, I understand that needing, you know, some people need that, you mm-hmm. know, external yeah. If, if I don't have a place to go or people to meet, then I will not do it. Because if I, I have stuff at home and very rarely do I do you get my weights out or, mm-hmm. you know, get on YouTube and watch yoga. Like, that's what I've done the last few times. But I, I come home, I have so much shit to do and I'm so overwhelmed. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'll get to it later. I'll get to it later. And then it's 11 o'clock at night and I got to go to bed, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Um, on Monday, I signed up for a online kind of gym thing that starts on Monday. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Because I'm, cause I'm like, I can't be held accountable to do it myself. I'll find every yeah. single reason not to do I it. I pay for it, though. Yeah, I have to pay for it. But I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see. It's only three days a week. Um, Is it live? No, it's, it's called Beachbody On Demand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so she's my coach, who's my friend Sarah, is uh, just giving me workouts to do, and I bought five pound weights today. I saw them. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> friend tricked me into doing one of those workouts when we went to the river a few weeks ago, and it kicked my ass. Because <laughs> she was like three weeks into it, and so, um, yeah. and I was like three months not doing that kind of workout, and yeah. I have a workout since I. Uh, Quick CrossFit, which was several years ago, and our dog just decimated stuff over here. 
<laughs> Go well, away. they're good for that. Go oh, we're fine. We're having some. Yeah, can, yeah. Anyway, it's for now. <laughs> um, Sean, you had list. You had uh, function slash get better. How's that going, dude? Uh, well, I got to redeem the Canadian since the other two kind of dropped the ball. Um, <laughs> I am getting better. I uh, <laughs> spent the weekend and last couple days moving my parents. Mm-hmm. So everyone was like, oh, don't lift too much. Don't lift too much. I'm like, no, it's, it's fine. It's it's good. So, no, I, uh, I have a physio appointment tomorrow, which I'm hoping he'll sign me off on return to work for like four hours a day or something to get broken into and all that but so you, all the things it, it's computer work that's uh still the hard thing for me like i can hmm. i can do a lot of like i was back in the carriage i was kind of working around a little bit and um yeah helping my parents move now i was tired at the end of the day uh, i'm using a lot of muscles that have atrophied over the last three months but uh no uh no electric shocks to my arm so that's uh, well that's, that's good <laughs> that's really good yeah, step in the right direction so it uh yeah it was scary there when you get an mri and all that and they're like you get multiple phone calls afterwards because it's awful close to your spinal cord and stuff like that and, yeah so, yeah, I'm getting better. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back to work next week, which is such a strange thing to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just I need to get a little bit more normalcy going in my life. So <laughs> we've been saving you a spot there. Oh, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> With lots of stickers, apparently. Yeah. Great. <laughs> um. Well, uh, the the topic we wanted to kind of talk about tonight uh, was uh, uh, Sean. I think you you threw this up there. Um, I refer to it as non-starter projects. So things that we've been meaning to get to, uh, but maybe we just haven't for whatever reason. So uh, is there is there anything creative that you've you've been meaning to get to, you just haven't got to it yet? Uh, anyone want to start? Oh. Hey. Yeah, Sean brought it up, so... <laughs> All right, Sean. Um, this one, I've had a few false starts with mm-hmm. it. Um, and it's... All my other projects are related to it. It's creating a maker space. Like, an actual, decent place where I can work. And, like, in my old house, I had, like, a little corner in the basement. And I used a... Uh, old secretary desk that was like handed down from my wife's grandmother kind of thing. So I literally had like one foot by two foot workspace Mm -hmm. kind of thing. (laughs) It was horrible, but like they had shelves for like all these tools and stuff like that, that were originally for letters and it was great, but I had no working space. So I, I, I planned it out in my head, changed it over the years for like the last 30 years. Um, so I'm finally starting to work on it in the carriage house. Um, I was actually bought some lumber to start framing stuff in today. So, but yeah, false start after false start. And I needed a decent space to do all these other projects that I want to start doing. Like I'm going to have a big desk area for like puzzles and Lego and stuff like that. Another area for electronic work. Another area for model training, that kind of thing. So, and they'll all be separate areas. That's always, I've learned that you got to have the space if you want to do all these things. So, yep, that's uh, that's the big one for me. Yeah, that's one of those things that I've I've tried and tried, and I finally kind of have a workspace here at my desk that I'm doing the show at. But it still doesn't have a lot of space. What I've kind of accidentally run into is I have uh, my dad purchased that's um, it's maybe three feet wide by six feet long, and it's a folding table. And a lot of times, and I've had you've seen it before in the show. I'll unfold it and put it back here. It definitely eats up a lot of uh, my office floor space, but it does give me a good amount of space behind me to work. 
um, to the point that I can actually kind of get some projects done. Uh, so, but I understand, I completely understand what you're saying about like, cause I've thought about, it, I was like, well, maybe I can do something in the garage or maybe I can do something like this. And it's just like, you know, it, it's so tempting to maybe try to set up something in the garage where I'm just like, no, Hot. because when it get yeah, that's going to be the thing is like when it gets really cold, I'm not going to be out there. And the rest of the time I'm not going to be out there because it's going to be so freaking hot. And it's like, so I'm going to have like, what, three weeks out of the year? I'm going to want to work out there? Like, that's, screw that. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> well, one of the things I had on my list uh, when you brought this up, um, uh, actually, he's he's sitting right here. I'll go ahead and grab him right here because I've talked about it. This has been uh, on my list of to-dos for quite a while, and that's uh, Baby Yoda is. <laughs> oh, hey, Yoda. Still primer gray. Um, yeah, uh, my airbrush is sitting out in the garage. It is still sitting in the box. Uh, <laughs> it has been sitting there for probably two years now. I know it is something that I would use. I know it's something that I would probably very quickly like get into and be like, oh, no, let me go buy a better one and, and, and really get into it. But it's just one of those things that uh, – you know, and I've watched lots of different videos and stuff on it. And of course, they're always just like, don't be afraid of it. Just use the damn thing. Get started on it and, and you'll learn as you go and stuff. And it's just to me, there's still this um, insurmountable hill of, man, this is going to be this is a lot of big learning curve. I, you know, it's kind of scary starting it. I fucking designed a, you know, a circuit board and yet I'm scared to pull out a thing that basically goes <laughs> And blows paint. Like, why is that messing with me? But it is. So um, that's kind of the one of the big things on my um, to-do list that I just can't seem to get done. I can't even seem to get started on it. Like, I mean, granted, I did. I, um, you know, I, I primed and, and sanded down Baby Yoda. He's ready to go. He's just waiting for paint. And he's still sitting there waiting for paint. So... <laughs> But he looks at you every day. Judgment. Pretty much. Yes, Jud and it, it's kind of judgmental. So, I mean, it's not so bad since he's all gray. Like, if he at least had the eyes colored in, it would be it'd be bad. Like, he'd be <laughs> these Super big, green. big black eyes looking at me. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, Ray, what's what's something that uh, on your can't just seem to get done to do list? So, I tried a long time ago with a really shitty version. But you mentioned it, uh, airbrush. I've wanted to learn how to airbrush, <laughs> and I I have so many different things that I would want to try it on. Do T-shirts. I, I saw mm -hmm. a guy when I was a kid. Uh, he would do T-shirts and and sell them and stuff like that. And there are so many cool things you can do with it. Um, and like you, I've watched a few YouTube channel, you know, videos about it. Uh, and I think it would be cool to do it on canvas. Like I've got these canvases. It'd be kind of cool to see what I could do with those. So uh, at some point I'm going to bite the bullet and buy a decent airbrush and, and actually follow through with that because uh, it's, it's just one more thing that I've creatively that I've really wanted to do for a really long time. So. Yeah. It's like, and, and there's, you know, I'm, as you've been talking, I've been seeing her thing. I was like, yeah, like there's some props that I'd like to make and, Getting a a chrome or an extremely shiny, you know, reflective, you know, surface on something. A lot of this, there are a few spray cans out there, you know, rattle cans that you can buy that do a decent job. But if you really want it to come out, you've got to airbrush it on there. Yeah. Yeah. And then like you were talking about, Sean, I have no idea when, where I'm ever going to be able to start doing some model railroading. But I'm like... That's how you're going to make it stand out instead of, you know, this bright blue and yellow, you know, yep. train instead of make it look like, oh, it's been to hell and back. And it actually looks like a working locomotive. And that like that's all stuff. I'm just like, I've got to learn the damn airbrush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, Chris, what's something on your list that you just can't seem to get can't seem to get done? So it is. I've had a false start with this, too. I want to knit a sweater. And I started last year except it didn't work out you took that thing apart a few times i, I did remember. and then i started like raging and it was just like no uh, 
pieces of what would have been Ray's sweater, but it's too small. And I couldn't, I can't figure out why it's too small because I followed the knitting pattern and whatever, it's being a jerk. So, but I would really like to make myself a really nice cardigan, a really nice sweater. I've wanted to do that for a really long time. I just want to figure out how to make something. The right size. The right size. Well, a cardigan, you can budge, like it can be big and it still look all right. But yeah, I made it, tried to make a sweater for myself and it was too small. (laughs) And I followed the pattern, and I was like, "Is there what? a master class for that?" <laughs> no, 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 there's not. But YouTube, YouTube is really helpful when you can find the right video. If you can find mm-hmm. the right video for knitting and crocheting, um, then it's super, super helpful because some of those patterns you're like, "I don't know what this means." So I'm making a blanket, and I have a bad habit of making my my um, my base chain really too tight. And so my blanket winds up having this bottom curve on it. And I'm like, why does it do that? So I figured it, I I had to watch a YouTube video. Why does it keep doing that? How do I fix it? So after taking it apart twice, I uh, figured it out. out. But Hmm. yeah, so a really nice sinking cream cardigan with some nice wooden buttons. I don't know. Maybe you could do something for the dog or the cat first. That would be a small and quick, and then you could I'm work on. I'm him a sweater. No, I'm okay. Sweater. Dog sweaters are easy. That's super easy. <laughs> it's just a rectangle, and then you sew it together so that. Oh so, no, it's two yeah. pieces. You sew it together so that there's holes for their legs. Holes for legs. That's actually, it. worked out pretty cute. <laughs> They're easy to make, but oh, like okay. a legit human. <laughs> Sweater. With sleeves, and... with sleeves and uh, and uh, details <laughs> in the buttonhole and pockets. Buttonholes. Pockets. Buttonholes. <laughs> buttonholes. Yes. yes. That's right. Buttonholes. I heard buttholes. I know you did. He's <laughs> making a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, no, I can't make a onesie. No. God, a, a, a onesie that's been knitted and it's all. Oh my God, that'd be I so. I did awesome. have one piece. <laughs> you can't get I it. Saw- I saw a lady at Fan Expo one day. Uh, at one time we went. I can't remember. It might have been one of our first ones. I think she so. She had crocheted. It was crocheted herself a Wonder Woman suit. But the problem with crocheting is that it's not tight. So there was lots of gaps. And it was just a bodysuit of Wonder Woman. I'm like, oh, if y'all could see Ray's face right now. Oh, He's remembering she this. Tried, she tried. She tried. She tried. She really tried. It was crocheted. Tried. And it was just, oh, honey. Oh. Underwear through that and everything, oh, and no. it didn't match. No, it was too <laughs> big on her. Big. Oh no! Yeah, she at no. least didn't like. She like, walked that circuit. She she, did, always, she was pushing her stroller. She, yeah, she got pictures taken with people. Yeah, she was owning it, but it was like, woohoo! Cosplay on. is for everybody. Oh yeah. yeah, and I'm sure she worked really hard to find a pattern, or if she designed the pattern herself. Good on her. Yes. Yeah, but crochet is not for sweaters. You'll yeah. be cold. Yeah, for sweaters. <laughs> well, Jen, what's a what's a non-starter project that you have? Oh, there's so many. Um, <laughs> let's see. I uh, write a lot of letters, and I have been saving the stamps from said letters for a long time. So <laughs> I've been wanting to organize them and put them in an album, which I did buy the album. It's just, you know getting them in the, the sets that they are, you know, cause they have some that are different um, or that go together. So organizing that stuff into something that's makes sense and isn't a big pile that just drives me nuts. Um, and similarly organizing my photo albums because holy crap, the piles of pictures I have and the empty albums I have just waiting to be filled. Yeah. It's, Can I start off by saying you called me a nerd for designing <laughs> my own circuit board and you're talking about collecting stamps. So listen, <laughs> yeah, I am single-handedly keeping the post office in business right now. I have like probably hundreds of dollars worth of unused stamps. Cause I just, I love buying them and then I can't use them up quick enough. <laughs> so I need pen pals. If anybody wants a pen pal that's listening, she has very nice handwriting. Yes, she does. <laughs> 
I would join you in that adventure, but I'm afraid that you wouldn't be able to read my writing. I know, right? You'd have to have a cipher. Does yeah. Logan want a pen pal? We could totally be pen pal. Oh, she sure. probably would. Yeah. yeah, you'd That'd be able be to fun. Read her Oh yeah, she she's got cute. I words. might slip a writing in there once in a while just for fun. Okay. See okay. if you can actually decipher it. <laughs> God. <laughs> you guys could slip a um, you know, some candy or or something in there. It'd be it'd be great. Figure something out. <laughs> it, it'd be melted by the time it got here, I but know, it's right. fine. Proper maple thin and just this huge mm-hmm. bold in the middle is like. Hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> totally totally fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a total nerd for that. I also have a coin collection. So. <laughs> and a rock collection. <laughs> you got some Canadian rocks, too. <laughs> I do. Canadian rocks and fossils, so. Uh-huh. Yeah. I can't I promise I'm not going to tell Christy about this, and I can't promise she's not going to make fun of oh, me. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, she will. She will. It's fun. So. I'm used to it. Yeah. Cause she was totally like, "Did you take your circuit to work, to little boy?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> she makes fun of you so hard; it's adorable. Yeah, she does. Um, Sean, what's something else? Uh, a non-starter project or something you just can't seem to to get going? Well, I talked about this from like the first show. Freaking model train! Oh, <laughs> oh my freaking god! I came so close in the old house, and we sold the house. Mm-hmm. So I built the tables. I have the trains. I've got the DCC set, everything. And yeah, we sold the house. So it's all in boxes right now. But when I get my man cave built, it's mm-hmm. I've already designed it that I'm building the tables right into the walls. Mm-hmm. It, it's going to happen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, but when I do it, like since I've been wanting to do it for so long, like your plans change and like a lot of mall trainers, they were like, what area are you going to build it in? That kind of thing. And I'm leaning more and more towards, I just want something really freaking cool. I'm mounting a camera to the, to the train. Uh-huh. So I can follow through the tracks. Nice. And I'm going to be like mesmerized by it. I'm like, Frig, I'll do like futuristic landscapes and stuff like that. I don't really Oh, that'd be awesome! Really cool. You could do, you could do uh, like on the Weather Network where they have like the live cameras. You could just do the live camera where it's constantly going around. Oh yeah, people, <laughs> that'd be people awesome. Watch. That's I, that's what I'm gonna do. I, like I'm gonna be mounting it to the train itself, so you can follow it through the tunnels and the trails. I can't wait. So, but once again, it's been a non-starter for. Oh, I don't like saying how long it is because I feel really old. But, uh, yeah, a long time. Wow. <laughs> I remember talking about it with your old place. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> See, I have two train sets that my dad bought my boys um, sitting underneath the guest bedroom, and it's like under the guest bedroom bed, and it's like I want to do something with them while they're young enough that I think – I mean, granted, you know, some people just love trains their whole life. I'm, I'm one of those. And I want to do something with them so that they'll – appreciate it with a you know when they're little but i'm just like i don't have any room for it it's just Mm -hmm. you know he went with he went with ho scale and i'm just like god if he had gone with the the smaller scale you know because you could do a lot more like i could i could literally set up a board the size of this desk right now and it would be enough that they could go around and do stuff but just Hell, my 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 older my old uh, uh dining room table i could barely get get them just go around in a loop on that thing because it, you know, the curve can only be, you know, can only, you know, tuck in so much. So and that's why I chose end scale because yeah, I, the, the space I was going to be working with, like I would have a four by eight sheet with a little bit extra, but with end scale, I could do double loops and stuff like that. But yep. now I'm going to have a lot larger space, but I've got all this end scale stuff. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to stay with the end scale, but, It'll allow me to do a lot more different types of landscapes. True. And all that. So I'll be able to like transition from like the old west to volcanoes to whatever. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I hear you with the. Then there's a lot more stuff for the HO scale. Yeah. But they assume you have a lot more room. So. Yeah, that's one of those hobbies. It's like, what do you do? I do trains. And that's it, because that takes all your time, energy, effort, mm-hmm. money, and space. Like, that you can devote, yeah. 
So. Have you been to the train museum in Temple? The um, they have like a model train building full yeah. of just because the, they have a club that does that. Yeah. Uh, the uh, we've also uh, like last year, year before last, we went with my dad and did um the uh, um. They do an annual train uh, get together there in Temple. We've done that. Uh, we've taken the boys. There's a train museum in in uh, Nakad- uh, in uh, Tyler. We've gone to as well. So, well, anytime uh, you want to hear um, ten trains a day go by, just come to my office and <laughs> sit. In yeah, it I bet all day long because I'm in the old train station. And let me tell you, they've been doing some kind of maintenance the last two days, mm-hmm. and literally every ten fifteen minutes, it's honk honk because it's not even the train it's the the truck on the tracks uh-huh. constantly honking because they don't have yeah it's stupid her so, office is in a, an old school old school uh santa fe railroad it's building cool. it's a beautiful building um but Pretty yeah cool. it's it, it's <laughs> right there <laughs> well when you're finally be able to get up this way just down the street from us oh it's the train track it's a train track Uh-oh. But there's also like the old 19, it was what, 1800s? Oh, I don't know how old the train station is, but it's still there. The train station's there. Somebody's turned into their house. Oh, and that's it's, cool. It's from, Not a nice house. Oh. It could be though. And you can see like the old building where it's like, okay. The I, outside I is original. Like the outside yeah, they've it's all had, original but, still. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, the, you'll hear the train. Yeah. You once in a while, come up from the salt mine. It's pretty cool. Thankfully, it's not 10 times a day. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Once a That's week. an what? estimate, but you know, like the middle of the day too. It's like a reason. I, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, the military ship stuff constantly, so you know. We yeah. see a lot of wind turbine um, equipment going. It's pretty cool. Oh, like, that's cool. Because one of them takes like two or three train, yeah. you know, cars, yeah. and yeah, it's pretty neat looking. Um, the next thing I had on my list is um. A cosplay I've been wanting to do for a couple of years now and have not started one lick of it. Um, and it's funny because I follow several different people. In fact, some of them I started following on Instagram because of this cosplay. And I still want to do a uh, Transformer costume out of EVA foam. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I have followed a couple of people. Uh, what's funny is is uh, one's, one's a dude, one's a chick. And... Both of them did a sound wave, and they, they're fantastic. And I'm just like, oh, man, I, I really want to do that sometime. And I just, you know, I, I keep – it's funny. I keep looping around in the Ghostbuster stuff because I'm like, okay, I can do this now, or I can do this better now, or I might even be able to do it really awesome. So it's just like – I don't know. Eventually, I'll hit the point where I'm just like, all right, I've, I've hit peak Proton Pack. <laughs> what's next so but it, it's hard because i'm just like you know that's that's mainly what i dress up as and it's the other thing i think that's kind of holding me back is um i'm like all right well once i build this thing where am i gonna put it because i can't put it like mm-hmm. out anywhere where it's gonna be hot because mm-hmm. it'll like warp it or whatever so no. um if my office, if I could clear a little more space in my office, I've already started talking to my partner, and there's certain things I'm like, yeah, I think I'm gonna start bringing some props and stuff up here, which he's totally cool with. He's like, no, let's make the office look awesome. Mm-hmm. So, hey, um, um, I have been legitimately thinking about renting a uh, like climate controlled storage unit for a couple things I have, so we could split one <laughs> if it gets bad enough. <laughs> would I be- would seriously consider that. That would be so sad though if we did have to if we had so much shit that we have to do that, <laughs> you know like oh my god I have a whole house but yeah, yeah. no <laughs> but no it's that's one of those things I've considered but like I said it's you know it's there are certain things that you're like oh no that can stay out in the garage or or that could even go up in the attic where yeah. but there are certain things it's like no if I put that in there it's I might as well just throw it away it, mm-hmm. it's, it's not going to survive so but yeah that's one of those things I'm just like. Man, I'd really like I'd really like to do that. And I I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen. It's just getting to that point. So to the point that I've like really considered buying, uh, depending on which transformer I go with, I'm like, man, I really should look at buying um one of these newer versions of the toy just so that it would be so much easier to have a, a physical reference to go off. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like there's lots like if I did Optimus Prime, there's God knows how many different versions of Prime out there, but it would be nice to go. No, I'm going to do this version, and be able to kind of get an idea of like size and everything else. So, 
Uh, it, it's going to happen. But... Eugene doing the one where the kids like get down on the ground and become like the Transformers. Oh, That's yeah. all I can think of Eugene doing. Oh, <laughs> get down was... on the ground to be Optimus Prime, transform, yeah. and then not be able to get back up. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not doing that because I've, I've every and it it never fails. Ever since those like hit like social media like a couple of years ago, I always get people send me those, and I'm just like, yeah, those are really cool. They're not super detailed, but those are very cool. And I'm actually going for detail, like, like to the point that like, if I do an Optimus Prime, there's going to be like, if you remember the original toy, you could see there were rivets. I'm going to do the rivets and stuff. Like it's going to be super badass detailed. So, but anyway, yeah. uh, Ray, what's, what's something else on your list? Uh, I have had a series in my head of paintings and, uh, that I wanted to do, um, of watercolor and ink, and ink uh, of kind of a cityscape backdrop and and then hide superheroes in in each one um, yeah. just so that you like it's not su- like, it would be very subtle you'd have to be looking for it mm-hmm. and then that's where it is it's kind of like a where's waldo <laughs> superhero oh. but only yeah it's a cityscape of some sort but a very uh very dark series um so yeah, it, it's it's been in my head for years now. I, we've been talking, mm-hmm. we've, we've talked about it for I don't know how long, and I just haven't gotten to the point that I feel I can do it justice yet. So um, I'm, I'm gonna work on it some more. Uh, but I mean, it, it would be a series just for me anyway. So we'll see we'll see where it goes. You yeah. get more cool with watercolor. Yeah. 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 What do you feel is holding you back? Like you said, you don't feel like you have the skill for it yet. Um, I I really want to make sure I get the perspective of the city done right. Okay. Uh, there are certain. The other thing too is, is I I want a certain angle, and it's in my head of how it looks, and I haven't been able to recreate that just yet uh of that angle of a city and it's so once i get it it'll make sense and everything but um in my yeah i gotta i gotta get it out yeah (laughs) all i can picture is the opening scene of batman the animated series but instead of batman being like right up front is like he'd be like way back somewhere somewhere somewhere, yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) but just because of the angles that they had on that that's kind of what i was thinking i didn't talk about that (laughs) Yeah, so. it's it's not far off from something like that. Um, but I thought it'd be really cool. Uh, I really like silhouettes. I've been toying with silhouettes for quite a mm-hmm. while, and and I really like the the silhouette of things, mm-hmm. uh, especially uh, rowers. Anybody doing like uh, canoeing and stuff like that. I really like the the, the silhouette, and so um, I'd re- I really want to do a fun watercolor. Um, you know, cityscape where you can see lots of color pop, but then the the buildings themselves are very dark and yeah. yeah. So yeah, cool. it's. A- <laughs> uh, Chris, what's what's something else that you're just haven't quite got started on yet? So each house that we've had, because I went to school for park uh, park and rec and ecotourism, I have wanted a garden in each house that we've had I've tried so hard and it failed just really <laughs> so with this house thankfully there was nothing like each house that we've had there's always been like a, a garden started or um like in our cottage the I just wasn't the ground wasn't able to do what I wanted it was just big giant ass chunks of rock so there was no way I could do what I want um without doing a lot of overhauling and spending a lot of money on topsoil um so with this house thankfully what the previous owners have done is they basically left it a blank slate and anything that they have planted has been is really really low maintenance so all I have all we have here are hostas Hostas, so many hostas (laughs) You can't kill a hosta. You can't. They're just... They're, <laughs> and they multiply. Yes. So mm-hmm. hostas, I have a couple of peonies. I have some a uh, couple of fire bushes, which are starting to turn red. And I have ferns. But that's it. So thankfully, those are very, very low-maintenance um, uh, plants. So the gardens have been... 
very, very easy to keep up this year, um, which has been very nice. All I've had to do is weed them twice and kind of fluff up the mulch where I put it. And then the other day, Quinn and I, we had bought um, – a butterfly bush, a yep. really gorgeous burgundy uh, butterfly bush, and a rose of Sharon. Um, and Quinn and I planted those, um, still left the hostas beside them because it's green and they're flowering. So, um, but I hate, I hate hostas. I just <laughs> so hate many them. Hostas. I, oh, there's so many hostas. There's like, I have a dozen, I think. And I gave two to your mother. <laughs> they're, so and they're still out there they're still out there but they are so low maintenance that i have to appreciate them for at least that um but yeah so i want very lush like english cottage gardens and then i also want a veggie garden and i've never the closest i got to was um at the cottage on our land we planted two apple trees and last year last summer we managed to get teeny tiny it'd be the extremely apples. sour so sour <laughs> Um, apples off these two trees so we can't plant apple trees here but I would like to plant like maybe a raspberry bush and some strawberry plants and but I would really like a veggie garden I have heard that hostas are edible parts of them I'm not eating that crap there so you may have a garden already <laughs> like a veggie garden already <laughs> I would look into that but that like lines up I with how am... much I want to eat dandelions <laughs> dandelions yeah. are edible but I'm not gonna eat them yeah you yeah. can you can make dandelion tea, and mm, I'm not yeah. drinking that shit. No, just but because I've, you can doesn't mean you should. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like a bit, uh, like a, and we have like it's a really nice sized property, and thankfully yeah. there wasn't a whole lot done to it. They'd had a pool, an above ground pool at one point, so there wasn't, and a big giant like swing set, so there wasn't a whole lot done yeah. to it, which was really really nice. And so yes, yeah, a very nice, decent, veggie garden fruit garden and um lots of herbs and medicinal stuff and lots of indig like native stuff well we're going medicinal eh well like calendula <laughs> three plants Legal in canada <laughs> calendula and echinacea i would like to plant some of that and lavender lots of lavender and mary jane <laughs> yeah calendula is uh like good for healing right it is yeah it's really good yeah wounds and stuff and lavender is too and then echinacea is a good a good plant to have and just some herbs like mint that i'd have to contain or plant the mint but um, rosemary rosemary and i want to plant basically at some point i want most of our grass to be gone just enough for for <laughs> and, uh, so i want to love it lawns moss, are stupid <laughs> lawns are st moss and uh unless you have toddlers if you have toddlers or little kids lawns are fantastic because you can just chew them out but with two yep. teenagers lawns are they don't care about the lawn <laughs> you're not going out to frolic <laughs> <laughs> from sustainably our last our last podcast talking to totally forgot his name um i would like to i have a spot where i'm gonna put a bee box oh yeah you are yes i have a spot hey. where i'm gonna put one you have to send us updates on that. Yeah. I don't like the idea of the bee box person. You don't like bees, so you're afraid of them. Well, don't you breathe. Spun a ton of times and see how you feel. Listen to time. the episode, and and you'll learn the techniques to hopefully not get stung. The main thing is control your breath, right? Yeah. He's like, <laughs> okay, whatever. Shut up, yeah, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> kind of with you I on that, you. Ray. <laughs> Like, it's like, okay, cool. Y'all are here to pollinate. Y'all stay over there. I'll stay you over here. Your flowers. So. And then when they realize you're not, they'll leave you alone. Yeah. Just don't move suddenly or breathe really hard. I'm not getting a bee box for a really long time, but I would like one. Okay. I will have the smoker before we get the bees. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, Jen, what's something else on your... Uh... Um, list. I may have mentioned this in our first episode and it shows you how much progress I've made, but I have a lot of magazines and old calendars I've been saving so I can make something out of them. Mm -hmm. Make something in air quotes. <laughs> so um, they take up a lot of space. They're very heavy and annoying, but <laughs> I've been saving them because I want to make like envelopes or some kind of art framed art or whatever or just I don't know I've looked up a few ideas online um, you know like 
pinned a few things and mm -hmm. of course haven't really done much with it but i have lots of cool ideas i'm gonna make people these gifts and stuff for holidays one day but i need the space to do it like sean mentioned i need a maker space like a flat area that i can actually spread out and cut and you know do things so that's key never enough room mm -hmm. yeah speaking the language there um yeah i remember you mentioning about oh, i've got all this stuff and i'm, I'm gonna make something out of it one day yep. <laughs> <laughs> one day <laughs> one day um well let's go ahead and go one more round uh so any if there's one more big thing that you'd kind of like to share that you haven't quite gotten started on uh sean um when i do get my space as well i'd like to get into um like rube goldberg machines i'd like to start <laughs> i just my mind's broken so <laughs> I have a device that's broken, but actually does something appeals uh -huh. to me. So, and it could be like anything from like taking a sheet of plywood and creating like a marble race down it kind of thing with a whole bunch of different devices attached to it. That stuff like that just it relaxes me. So to be able to like build something like that and mm -hmm. It's a lot of thought put into it, and it's like you have to like understand every step all the way down, and I enjoy that. That's kind of a quiet time for me. So if when I get the space, it's not if, it's when. I would like to kind of get into like start small, but and I think it's fun to do with the kids, kind of thing. So, but yeah, I was gonna say so the beginning of uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, oh, yeah. and. Um, what is like okay go like your favorite yeah. band ever because yeah. those videos are so awesome yeah. <laughs> especially when you watch like the behind the scenes stuff and it's like yeah you know it's all one take it's like oh my god mm -hmm. so <clears throat> yeah those are i always find those fantastic so um mine is something fairly simple it's something i keep telling myself i'm going to go over to my mom's house and learn how to do or i'm going to go over to laney's mom's house and learn how to do and that's sewing i just <laughs> like it's funny uh we were at a con one time and uh this couple walk up and i don't know what she i don't know what she was cosplaying um but this but this young lady had on it was like it was like a white, kind of a latex suit, but there was like LEDs in it. And like, she kept explaining the LEDs to me, and I'm just like, yeah, I understand that. That I I can wrap my head around that. I'm just like, how <laughs> did you sew this? This is incredible. Uh, and she, of course, she's just like, oh no, I I sew all the time. I'm just like, whoa, good for you. I have no idea where to even begin. <laughs> um, so yeah, sewing is one of those things like to me it's not quite like making music and it's just a complete, you know, it's not really just ma pulling magic out of the air, but it's pretty damn close in some cases. <laughs> um and I do follow uh and you know what they're all female now I think about it, but I do follow several cosplayers like especially on uh, Instagram and those are the things that it's like when they they do certain things it's like, okay, well that's kind of interesting. How did you make it? That's what I really <laughs> want to know. Um, yeah. and like, there's one I'm following right now. Uh, she, she does some YouTube videos as well. Uh, her, um, Instagram handle is Jedi Manda. And she recently did a, uh, Nadja cosplay from what we do in the shadows. It came out, everything she does comes out fantastic, but it was just like, these are the patterns that I used and she talks about it. And I'm just like, this is freaking, this is witchcraft. This is awesome. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, sewing is one of those things I've always wanted to learn. I just, I just, you know, I keep telling myself I'm going to do it, but it just, it never happens. So, uh, Ray, what's the, what's the last thing on your list? Uh, I'm going to cheat and do two. Okay. Uh, cause, <laughs> cause I am. Uh, <laughs> so especially listening to the books that I've been listening to lately, I have wanted to do hand wood carvings for so long. Yes, you have. And you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I've been wanting to do it for so long. There's a store that's not far. It's about an hour and a half away from us. And they specialize in woodworking. But they have all these hand carve, uh, carving knives and 
I'm like, it would be so tempting to just go get a few of those <laughs> and whittle away. Yep. Um, and then the other thing that I have had in my head for quite a while, a couple of years I've been wanting to do this, um, you know, the whole love at first sight thing? Um, no. No <laughs> idea what you're talking about, actually. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by that is, is, you know, the concept behind the love at first sight. Heard of uh, it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, like cold fusion. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anyway, interesting theory. I've, I've wanted to, I wanted to capture, um, so you know that, uh, you know, when you're in a, in like a, a subway or something like that, and you kind of look up and you glance at somebody and you have that moment of recognition, but not where, where you kind of know somebody, but you don't. And it's, there's kind of a spark and it's, you don't, you can't explain it. Um, what's his name? Has a song. James Blunt. James Blunt has that song. He wrote song. that when he was incredibly high. He, oh, sure he did. <laughs> but anyway, where it's kind of that, that glimpse. So anyway, yeah. I wanted to recreate that in a way of um, find a couple and get a face-on picture of each of them and then draw them out uh, so that it was them glancing. It would be like that first glance. Um, and then you'd put the pictures on either side of a hallway and so that way you could kind of look up and it would be them looking at each other, that kind of thing. So very specific. I it know was, that I've had that in my head for years. I know that. <laughs> so. Sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so anyway, I, I thought that'd be kind of a fun one uh, just because it's, uh, you know. You're, hope, you're so. hopeless romantic. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Chris, what's something else? What's the last thing you'd like to share? Um, so I have a sewing machine downstairs that is <laughs> from my great aunt that is in a box because she had a shopping addiction. And when she died, that's what I got. <laughs> Pretty so, sure it's, that, never, yeah, it's, it's never been ne used. It's never been used. Um, but I took a sewing class in high school and I learned how to do it. And it was, it is, it's relatively easy. If you can follow a pattern, you can sew. And I just haven't done it any of the costumes that the kids have had that have been made he sewed it and i it's like but i know how to do this stuff i should just, I just have lost all my confidence in doing it but i have a very nice singer sewing machine that is brand freaking new in the box if she doesn't start it soon i'm probably going to pull it but, out this year no, no, and no. make <laughs> with that though i would I never ever had a space that's mine ever and Ray's never really had one either. And this house sort of allows us to have our, we've kind of had sort of spots that are designated our areas. Um, he's got his, he's got the garage now that's his with all of his tools. And, and now I've got the one corner in the bedroom as well where the guitar is set up. So, so he's got his, yeah, that is where the guitar is set. We're getting these little spots now. Where yeah, and you have one in the dining room with your easel yep. and your high boy dresser and stuff. But I would like, because my stuff's always, like knitting is a very portable thing. You don't need needle spot to store your knit your needles and your yarn but it really doesn't require much of a space because you can do it anywhere um and same with cooking every you know most dwellings have kitchens so that's where my space is too so uh, but i would like to have uh, most <laughs> well some of the houses that we were looking at on uh, on realtor.ca did not come no, with kitchens no so actually a couple that's of why I said you're, you're right <laughs> one in particular yeah. yes um, so I would like to have a space there downstairs. It's not, he can't really go down there without banging his head on something, but I can. So I would like to, there's a room downstairs. I would like to organize it and clean it out and make it surprise. I would like to make it my space. <laughs> what? The, no, the bedroom downstairs. Oh, the bedroom. Yeah. Oh God. Clean that one out. All right. Yeah. Sure. I need to, we need to organize it anyways. Cause when we moved, we just literally shoved everything down there and haven't looked since. So it needs to. It needs some organizing, but I would like to make that a place where I set up the sewing machine. So I actually have a spot that I could do something like, I'm not sure, but anything I'd like to make. I've made myself shirts and shorts and I'd like to learn how to make masks. I feel like that would be productive. Yeah. But I have, those. yeah. And I know how to do it. So it's just, my sister sews all the time. She were, She's got three boys who go through jeans like they're candy, so she's constantly repairing stuff. And I want to make curtains and everything for the house. I, yeah. I'd make stuffed animals again. Oh, yeah. We did this thing <laughs> in the eighth grade for home ec where you got this stuffed animal kit. 
he needed to do it by hand. And because I was poor and he wasn't, I only could afford the little hedgehog. And he got this, like, My big, parents got me the big, big huge, uh, big one. It was a, um, a bulldog. Yeah. It was massive. Mine was a hedgehog. I made a football. I still have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, a little maker space for myself because we have the space to do it. And I would like that to be my little area. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. Good deal. And it's recorded, so we've got yes. confirmation if you ever need to go back. Uh Jen, what's the last thing you'd like to share with us this evening? Um, you know, I kind of shared two in the beginning, so I'm not, I don't really have much else. I mean Okay. Um, yeah, I, I've, I, I would like to learn to cook more. That's always been on my list, but it's, it's one of those, like, not very high priority given the amount of time I have in a day. So, you know. I want to learn how to decorate a cake worth a damn. Like, that's just something that's always, like, I can bake the cake. It's just decorating that yeah. is just like, it's, it, it's like, you know, get the, the, the frosting control is just like, to me, you know, I, I'm, you know, think, of course, you know, 3D printing. I'm just like, yeah, it's just the flow is just completely off. It's not it's not <laughs> doing what's supposed to do, whatever. So, um, all right, well, let's go ahead and move into our, our um, ideas on what we want to try to work on for next time. And I just realized I haven't really thought of that. So, uh, Ray, do you, do you have an idea? You're always you're number one on my list. I can go first if you want me to. No, no, I, um, all right, so one month. I know, but it goes by so fast. This is the second time that I've been caught off guard by how fast a month's gone by. So (laughs) I have, I, this is sort of, this is maker related. So, uh, this weekend I'm going to be building, um, a ramp up to our shed because, uh, our, our shed is. When I took out the lawnmower, I shaped some of the plywood. She may have. With the blades. So, <laughs> so I have <laughs> to make some, yeah. So I'm going to be making a ramp. Um, that being said, so I do want to do something creative, whether it's guitar related or Quinn's art bed. related. Quinn's bed. Quinn's bed's not going to be made this this no, month, no, though. No, but you can design it. Anyway, so <laughs> what I would like <laughs> is uh, either the painting started or. Um, or get going on a guitar course of some sort. Uh, it's going to be one or the other. I can't do both. So. Oh no! Yeah, absolutely. I completely understand that. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to commit to at least getting to the next stage of working on the belt gizmo. Um, like I said, honestly, at this point, now that I know the circuit works, it's just finding time to do the design work I need to do and then sending it off because like I said, it's only like $20 or so. So it's not like it's, I'm so glad it's not one of those things. It's like, well, I got to get a bunch of money together again. So, um, you know, just don't go eat out lunch as much. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to say, I'm going to say at least phase two, I'm not going to commit to completely being done because I, I have a feeling I have a feeling I'm be able to design this thing and get it together. And the uh, last part of it is going to be um, uh, the holster. Like part of it, there's a small, there's a smaller board. It's a daughter board, and it just kind of hangs on the belt. That's not a problem. But the holster for this thing is kind of, I don't want to say unique, but it definitely, there's definitely a, a way people have done it. And I keep thinking, I'm like, I might be able to do it out of EVA foam, like a thin EVA foam. Um, just because I'm like, I don't know if I want to try any kind of leather work. Like that seems like, you know, jumping in the deep end. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I mean, uh, some people have 3d printed versions, but I'm like, no, I don't know if I really want it hard like that. Like I'd, I'd rather be, you look more like it did kind of in the movie. So I'm kind of playing with the idea. I, I know I could probably make it out of UVA foam. It's just like, how well is this going to hold up? Like, you know, I'm already thinking, like, when I sit down, like, where is this thing going to go? Because my belt's already got a ton of crap on it. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of playing with that idea. So I'm not going to say finish the belt gizmo, but I'm definitely going to say I'm going to at least move on to phase two, maybe a phase three if there is one. So, Um, Chris? 
Uh, so I will have Logan's dresser painted because the gold knobs are going to show up this week. And I would like to order some, you know, I have this pattern, this uh, blanket pattern that I really, really, really want to do. So I have to find the yarn and I think a bigger crochet hook uh, to do it. So I would like to have that at least started, if not done. It has tassels. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure the cat will love that. <laughs> She's like, oh, I don't know about that now. Um, Jen, what would you like to work on for next time? Um, I don't know. I didn't really think of, couldn't really think of anything. So I'm just gonna say I want to finish um, consuming some of the content I have not been able to finish, such as finally finish Game of Thrones, because it takes me over a year to watch one show like in its entirety and it's been over a year and I really want to know what happens <laughs> it's not that I don't want to know I'm, I like the show um and finish reading some of the books that I haven't been able to finish and finish listening to my massive podcast list so that's that's my goal gotcha <laughs> taking in content which I mean is is part of the creative process. At some point, you have to out, stop, exp, you know, outputting and input a little bit. Like, you know, uh, it, yeah. it's funny, you know, I listen to all these podcasts and stuff, especially some of them that are specifically about being creative, and they're constantly talk about talking about the shows or games or podcasts that they listen to. And I'm like, okay, so I don't feel so bad if I'm like, well, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just watching a show, and it's like, no, everyone else does that too. So you can't can't constantly be outputting. So. But I can't, like, my problem is I can't do that stuff when I'm at work. The only thing I can consume is music because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, writing and reading. Yeah. And even then, I have to turn off the music sometimes. So that's, like, 40 hours a week. I don't get to, you know, do anything like that. So. Gotcha. Uh, Sean? Um, a month. I'm hoping to uh, shore up a wall and... Uh, insulate it from in my carriage house for the man cave i really should start posting pictures on that but uh yeah there's one wall that i need to shore up because nothing is level in it nothing square all the lumber is true so it, when it says it's a two by four it's actually two inches by four inches oh it's so old it's school. old yeah it's yeah. old so i basically have to build structures within that to square everything up so hopefully i'll get uh, one of the walls the north wall uh shored up and put now it's all like barn board against it so you can't put normal insulation against it you have to put in an air spacer and then put in foam board and then you put it it's it's a big process so i'm hoping to get one wall done in a month we'll see i don't want to screw myself up so no uh, don't do that <laughs> if you want some tips and tricks on squaring a wall up your engineer oh person oh. you follow yeah i'll send you the link it's farmhouse vernacular her they're they're double engineers there's a couple they're both uh manufacturing and something engineers in there renovating a house that's not and they're doing exactly what you're talking yeah. about in an old farmhouse so. yeah 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 mm -hmm. Well, it's like I have to build the new floor for it as well because there's like, well, there's a lots of problems with it, but the slope mm -hmm. on it, like when you get close to the wall, it literally goes up two and a half inches. Like, oh, wow. Like, yeah. So I'm going to be laying down a, a three or a two by three sub floor to level it off and then build the floor on that. And that that's when I can build stairs. I can't build the stairs until I... You know, it's a long, it's a long process, but I was, I was hoping to have a lot of this done over the summer, which I wasn't able to do. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna take that as my goal because that's, if I can get one wall, it's not a huge wall, so. You but, gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's funny. Someone literally posted somewhere on my Facebook feed. I don't even know why they post. I think they were talking about how things were used to be built better, and it was literally pictures of two by fours through the ages and what their actual measurements were. It was just like, yeah, yeah there's, you know, it, there's not that much difference, but there's a big difference. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, well, that is our show for uh, the month, ladies and gentlemen. If you would please give us a five star rating on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Music, wherever it is you wherever it is you listen to the shows. Uh, we are also now on Amazon is doing podcast as well, and you can find all of the shows on there. Um, so if if that's if you're you know gonna go down that route, uh, definitely take a look for us there. If I don't think there's a way to leave a review, but if there is, we'd sure appreciate it. Uh, you can find us at Epically Geeky on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and of course at epicallygeeky.com, where you can find all of the different shows that we do. Um, where can we find you online, Ray? Uh, the Reluctant Yeti on Instagram, and uh, all the shows that you mentioned. Uh, you know. And eventually I'm going to, like I said, finish up some of these friggin' paintings that are in my head. Uh, and then whichever ones I feel comfortable with enough, they'll go up on the Etsy shop. Good deal. Uh, Chris, where can we find you online? On Instagram at Witchy Time Traveler. Um, okay, because it just changed earlier, wouldn't <laughs> it? Like something different yesterday or something? Yes, I've been... There's a thing. There's uh, a after, long story behind well, everything. Off the call. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> yes, on Instagram, and then all of the podcasts that you mentioned, um, and that's it. Good deal. Uh, Jen? Um, you can find me here on most of the shows. I am uh, also on Sustainably Geeky, yeah. which <laughs> drops at the, the third Monday of the month, so that's our environmental show. And on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Het's Gonna Be Me. John? Uh, most of the geeky shows as well. And Instagram on your favorite broken toy. Favorite is the Canadian version, if you're spelling mm-hmm. it the correct way. Oh, the correct oh you. Favorite. You. <laughs> favorite. <laughs> And as always, you can follow my individual wacky adventure online at Optimus Sheen on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For everyone on the site, have a good night. (laughs) 